Hello everybody, in previous video we did create a guest card and fetch card ID for this and we store it locally in our use card hook state but actually we want to have access globally in the app and for this purpose we will use Redux so let's go to the Redux documentation and actually we will need Redux, React Redux and Redux Toolkit. Redux Toolkit is a recommended library. So let's start with dependency install. And we also need install Redux and React Redux. Uh, documentation is really great and I want to use its tutorial, intermediate tutorial, to quickly create our Redux setup. And I want to start with create slice example. Just copy it. Let's create new directory Redux. And new file cart. So it will be cart slice with name cart. Initial state will be cart ID null. Same as we have in our state. We will have only one action set card ID for now and state card ID will be action payload action will be set set card ID and I think it's enough for initial setup next we need to create our combine reducer like our list of reducer so this is the sample we're looking for let's name file reducers we import from cart cart reducer Let's name it cart, cart reducer. So now it's only one reducer, but as up will grow, we will add more here. Uh, now we need to create our store. There is configure store function for this so create store file import sorry from react um, uh, 
yeah configure store from redux js toolkit configure store and there is options for now options will be reducer our uh, root reducer which we we will import from reducers file and also we want to export it and last thing I think we need to add provider in our app component so provider where we should place store which we just created and wrap our components here and now we want to set our card id get and set card id to the store so we have set action and we also want to select and we can use create selector and let's have some complicated example let's do it just ourselves export const get card ID create selector and it will be function state state card I think and card card ID let's back to our use card hook and replace our state card ID with use selector from react redux and we can place simply our get card ID selector and to set card ID we need dispatch its value to the redux store so let's use use dispatch from React Redux and dispatch set card ID action which we get from our slice. Now we can test it if it works. We used card ID here in the root stack and let's do the same for example in product details screen and just console var 
the result. And maybe also console one. That we create card only once. So you see, we did create the card. And now when we go to product details, we have the card ID and it's same. So we create it once and take it from our store. And on the upstart, if we do the same console one card ID and restart the app, you will see it's null at first and then we fetch new card so basically we don't want such behavior like each time we open the app we create new card so we would like to uh, persist this card state there is a library for this react native redux persist Let's use it as well. And we need to use async storage. So let's install. Hmm, I think uh, React Native Community Async Storage migrate. Yeah, since deprecated and now we need to use React Native Async Storage. Let's go to its documentation. So install Async Storage and meanwhile let's back to Redux Persist library and also install it Redux Persist. And here's example of usage. I think we also need to install pods. So we need store and persister. And we need persisted reducer. I think let's just Copy everything from here and go to our store. So we don't need create store, we need storage. Instead storage we need async storage. And persist uh, persist config in storage we need use a sync storage. In our store we need to use persisted reducer, so let's use persisted reducer here and create our persistor also export const
and this should be it okay it's old lip pass let's use correct one which we install and now we also need to add persist gate inside our provider let's also do this Let's back to our app component persistor will be persistor and loading no for now Since we install ports, we need to rebuild our app. And you see there is an error. Non-serializable value was detected in the action. And it's point to the persist library. It's actually because Redux.js toolkit uh, has some middlewares uh, in, in it by default when we use configure store and what recommend in the Redux persist issue on the github just to disable this check so in configure store we can add this configuration Or just maybe with this one and now you see when we reload the app it's already contain cart ID so it stores when we close up and open it again which is actually was our goal that's it we'll see you in the new videos